Hey guys, it's Nate again. I have been tagged by Henry from Accordioning to Hank and MATG to do this survey thing. And so, here we go. The first question is, tell us about your first kiss. My first kiss was absolutely horrible. I was at the drive-in movies with my best friend, and he was there with his boyfriend. But his boyfriend, at some point during the movie, like left him sitting alone in the bed of the truck. He came into the cab of the truck with me, he smelled like smoke, and out of the blue he started kissing me. And it was awful, he tasted like an ashtray, and I was pretty sure his tongue was making its way down to my lower intestines. So not exactly the way that I pictured my first kiss. Question number two, what's the most expensive article of clothing you've ever bought? Well, it wasn't for me, so I don't really have it with me. It was this gorgeous, like, dark green dress I bought for my mom for Christmas. We were at the mall together, and she tried it on and fell madly in love with it. It had this hand-beaded black scarf that was, like, weighted on the end. Seeing her in it, it was like, suddenly my mom looked like a, a queen or something. It was just amazing. When we left, she said goodbye to it and said, I'll never see you again. She just looked so tragically forlorn. I knew right there I had to get it for her for Christmas. The most expensive thing I've ever bought for myself is right here. It is something that I like dreamed about having for ages. If you've been watching me for any amount of time, you know that I am like the biggest Harry Potter nerd in Texas. So at one point I had my own Gryffindor Quidditch robes, custom made, and it was insane how much these cost. But my very own Gryffindor Quidditch robes, and uh, they cost like somewhere between a hundred and two hundred dollars. But they're they're one of a kind, so it was totally worth it. Question number three: uh, first dream job. My first dream job, I can't remember for sure, but it was either an astronaut or a paleontologist. And my mom talked me out of both of them. It might not have been my mom. Someone talked me out of both of them by telling me that you had to be in college for like at least eight years. And considering I was only eight years old, I was like, that's a lifetime. I couldn't possibly be in college for eight whole years. And so I kind of gave up on that idea pretty quickly. but. To this day, I still kind of fantasize about being a paleontologist sometimes. An astronaut, I mostly just wanted to be weightless. <laughs> okay, question number four. Friend groups. Tell us about your friend groups. Um, in high school, I went to two different high schools, and the first one, I was friends with a huge weird mixture of people. Computer nerds, and like slackers, mostly slackers. The funny thing was, I was also really good friends with a lot of, like, goody-goodies, you know? Like, because deep down, even though I was cutting classes and stuff occasionally with my slacker friends, deep down I was still just a goody-goody like them. But my best friend was, like, a genius and a writer and, like, a straight-A student, and I admired him immensely. At my second school, I was mostly friends with choir kids, theater kids, and foreign exchange students. I was friends with like all the foreign exchange students except for like one or two. One of my best friends was from Hamburg, Germany and I just recently got in touch with her again and it was so awesome. I just love her. She was so cool. Now I'm friends with Harry Potter nerds like me and like most of my friends here in Dallas are Harry Potter nerds and it's amazing. We go do photo shoots together and go to conventions together and we're like family so I love it. Question number five, kid names. I don't really think that I will, but if I were ever gonna have kids, I would probably name the girls Veronica or Victoria. I love V names. And if I named a girl Veronica, we could call her like Nika. If I named her Victoria, I could call her Vicky. And I have an aunt named Vicky, so that would be cool. If it were gonna be a boy, I'd probably want to name him Jason after... <laughs> this is retarded. I'd probably want to name him Jason after the first guy I ever had a crush on. <laughs> I've just always had a thing for that name, Jason, and um, I always wished I had been named Jason, so that would be fun.
But I don't really think I could handle having a, a boy. I wouldn't know what to do with him. I totally would want to have girls. All right, I guess that's it. So I, now it's time for me to tag five people. First, I got uh, 1,000 steps. Second, Mike My Day. Uh, third, James Mitchell TV. Fourth, um, strongest in the world, Landon from Monday in the Gays. And fifth, Shep689, Will from That's Pretty Gay. I can't wait to see what you all do. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye.